Well, studies exploring the possible reasons that we found in our last study, low levels of the hormone DHEA, dehydroepic androsterone. The last study showed us that it was not via its testosterone and other androgens that um, it is found to be lower. In other words, although DHEA does form estrogen and testosterone in the cells of the body, when we looked at the androgen and the estrogen activity in women with and without complaints of low desire, the, the results were the same in both groups. And yet this hormone DHEA was lower in the women with low desire. What we're thinking is that it signals past stress and perhaps past and present low mood. That's because DHEA is involved in mood and it is very much involved in our stress system. So what we're looking at is um, stress in terms of neglect, in terms of abuse, in the histories of women with and without complaints of low desire. And if in fact it does prove to be the case that looking very carefully at all the stress hormones, we're using salivary samples and nail clippings to check this out, if it does turn out that the stress system is to a degree malfunctioning in women with low desire, it'll clarify it for us that that's the meaning of their low DHEA and we should be focusing on uh, the stresses that they've experienced and perhaps their tendency to low mood, if in fact the study shows that the low DHEA is related to low mood, and we should be, again, moving away from this seemingly enduring habit of thinking it's about androgens. So the first study really showed it wasn't about androgens, but by repeating that again this time and showing what in fact the low DHEA is about, might really help clarify that women are not needing pills in terms of um, testosterone or any other um, hormone, um, but a, a more careful evaluation of their um, past experiences.